G'day folks, it's Hugo here from Depot Adventures. I'm a tour guide in Melbourne and today I want to tell you about some Australian slang to help you through your trip down under or perhaps just talking with an Australian. Now, some of these today might sound a bit dirty, a bit inappropriate, but don't worry, not all of them are. To educate you right now, let's go through 10 Australian slang and phrases. Number one, thong. Now, you might have heard me talk about thong in the previous video I did about Australian slang. I'll link that below. Uh, but a thong down here is not commonly a G-string. Rather, it is footwear. It is flip-flops. So, when an Australian asks you if they can borrow your thongs, just be aware that they're asking for something probably a bit different than the rest of the world. Number two is a budgie smuggler. Now, a budgie smuggler here is not someone who is importing and exporting exotic birds illegally. A budgie smuggler is swimming attire for a male in particular. You might call them speedos, uh, but they have a habit, I guess, of showing a man's hmm member that's protruding through the fabric. Uh, it looks like perhaps that they are smuggling a budgerigar which is a type of bird in Australia, in their pants, hence the phrase budgie smuggler. Number three on that phrase is cocky. Now, cocky does not mean you're showy in this sense, because cocky is spelled C-O-C-K-I-E. Nothing to do with the downstairs department either. Again, we're going back to birds here. It is short for a cockatoo. A cockatoo, usually a big white bird with a sulfur yellow crest. If you've seen the movie Rio, that's the evil bird in Rio. Number four is a blowy. Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. A blowy though in Australia is a blowfly. A big, dirty fly that comes and if you're not too careful, will lay eggs and maggots in your food that you've left out. Number five, banana bender. Banana bender is not what you might suspect. A banana bender is someone who is from the state of Queensland. Queensland is up north. That's where a lot of our tropical fruit is grown in Australia. And it simply means that uh, Queenslander is someone who puts the bends in bananas. Otherwise, they would be straight. Hence, banana bender. Number six, we have spewing. If you are spewing, doesn't necessarily mean that you're vomiting. It means that you're just really like angry and fired up about something. Oh mate, I was spewing at the news that came out the other day. If you are talking about vomiting, then you might be chundering or giving it the old technicolor yawn, the phrases we use down under. Number seven, that's six, that's seven. <laughs> Number seven uh, is a sheep shagger. Now, a sheep shagger is someone who Australians refer to uh, from New Zealand. I know it's not nice, but you know there's usually a country that if you have to make expense, uh, if you have to make fun at the expense of someone else, then that's your like go-to. For Australians, it's New Zealanders, right? Because they're an easy target. They're over there. Um, they're smaller than us. But in more recent times, they've been whipping our ass on the rugby field. So I guess we bring out the old sheep shagger when they continually beat us at sport. Uh, number eight. No wackers or no wackin furries. Now, that's a bit of a spoonerism, if you will. I'm sure you can work out what it is. No wackin furries is another way of saying no worries. There you go. Use that one down here. Uh, number eight, dry as a dead dingo's donger. Now, a dingo, depending on who you ask, is a native Australian dog. It was actually brought over to this country a few thousand years ago by the indigenous people, but it's been here for such a long time that it's considered an Australian animal. And if that dingo has passed away, then its donga, or its, uh, uh, might be dried out. So hence, the desert would be dry as a dead dingo's donga. Number 10, last of all, is not here to F spiders. It's an odd one. Not here to F spiders. It's usually the answer to a question that has an obvious answer. So, for example, if you're at the pub and someone comes up to you and says, oh, mate, would you like a beer? You'd say, well, I'm not here to F spiders. I've heard the other one uh, similar to, uh, I'm not here to put 
socks on caterpillars. I don't understand that one either. I don't understand the not effing spiders either. But it's a colourful expression. So feel free to use those 10 Australian <laughs> phrases and slang when you're next here or if you're in conversation with an Aussie. We hope to see you soon on Depot Adventures or in this beautiful country of Australia. If you'd like to hit that subscribe button, we have plenty more of this amazing content on the way. Hooroo. I'll catch you next time.